The 2010 Big 12 Cross Country Championships began on a beautiful day in Stillwater, Oklahoma, with the women's race kicking things off. The Texas Tech Lady Raiders immediately took control of the race. Running on Oklahoma State's course, Texas Tech's Rose Tanui appeared unfazed by the hilly course and pulled out to a big lead. She crossed the finish line with the win more than 14 seconds ahead of the nearest finisher, giving Texas Tech its third straight team championship. Behind Tanui came a duo of Iowa State Cyclones and Colorado Buffaloes. The Lady Raiders placed six of its runners in the top 20, enough to win the team championship with 44 points. Colorado placed second in team standings with Iowa State third. Tanui's first place finish was good enough to earn 2010 Women's Newcomer of the Year, too. And this is her fourth race win in the season. On the men's side, it appeared there might be a challenge in store to Oklahoma State's recent dominance. The Kansas Jayhawks got off to a fast start and set the pace early. But the Cowboys' depth and experience on its home course began to show after the first few miles. Germa Machaso cruised to a win ahead of teammates German Fernandez, Colby Lowe, and Tom Farrell, giving the Cowboys its third straight team championship. The team score of 19 points was the best since Colorado in 2000, when the Buffs finished with 16 points. You know, I knew we had a great team, but the, uh, the conference is tough. You know, I think we have four in the top 30 in our conference, so it was a, we knew it was going to be a battle and a, a tough race, and, and it was. And I don't think we were ever really in control until maybe the last 1,000 meters or so. I knew I could uh, be a contender for the win. But anything in the top three will be uh, great for me because, I mean, we have a great team and uh, all of us are pretty good. Me, Kobe, German, Tom, and, you know, Joseph out there. And, I mean, it was just, it was us four, the last 1K. So I knew we looked at each other. It was like, are you guys ready to go? And we just took off and it was a battle. Fernandez says the home course helped keep the race atmosphere for all the runners top notch. Um, you know, having the crowd out here, seeing all the orange around the course, it, it was a great thing. I mean, it was just the whole way they were being loud and supportive, and it just inspired us to run even faster. We had a lot of alumni guys come back, and I think guys from the 1960 uh, Big 8 championship team that ran here, you know, on, for the Big 8 championships were back, and 1995 team was We had a lot of guys back. We're, we're real proud to, to have them back and them be a part of it. So, yeah, that was great. Runner-up on the men's side was Colorado, with Oklahoma finishing third. For Big12Sports.com in Stillwater, Oklahoma, I'm Brian Mortensen.